Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a shirt using an Etsy SVG file. So I've already made a beginner friendly video um, how to make a shirt using the Cricut Design Space. Um, it's a super easy video. If you have not seen it yet, I suggest that you go watch that video along with this video because it's very similar. It's just that we won't be using the Cricut Design Space. Um, to make the shirt, we're gonna be using an Etsy SVG file. So we're gonna be working half on our computer and then half on our cell phone. And I will be working off of the Apple iPhone. So if you have a Google, um, what is it, Android or Galaxy phone or whatever, if you have an Android phone, um, it should be very similar to the Apple iPhone. I'm not really sure, but hopefully you can make out what I'm doing on my Apple and go according to your phone. So I like to work half on the phone because it's super easy and everything is fast. It's like at the touch of a finger versus going back and forth on your home computer or your laptop or whatever. So what you would need for your phone, you would need your Etsy app. So if you don't have an Etsy app, I suggest downloading it and create an account. It's free. Also, you would need your Cricut Design Space app. Um, hopefully you already have that and uh, you need to be able to check your email on your phone. So if you're not able to check your email on the phone, I will suggest that you download the app, whether it's Yahoo, Google, Hotmail, Gmail, whatever you use to, whatever your email is, download the app so you'll be able to um, check your email. And also you will need your, uh, well, it should be already on your phone, like where you can check your files on your phone, save files to your phone. So hopefully that should already be on your phone. And that's all you would need as far as your phone. And again, just to tell you what an Etsy SVG file is, it's very similar to the Cricut Design Space where you can go over to images and find all kinds of images that you can make a shirt with. Um, it's pretty much like Amazon, except for you can buy a file. So say you wanna make a Christmas shirt. All you have to type in is Christmas SVG, and then it's gonna put up all kinds of files. You can make a Christmas shirt. Uh, Valentine's, birthday, just about anything is on Etsy, except you have to pay for it. So you will have to pay for your file. And that's why um, I suggest having your credit card or your bank card or your debit card already saved onto your Etsy account because it'll be so much easy. You won't have to put in all your card number and all of that. It'll already be saved and it also uses Apple Pay. So if you have an Apple phone, you can already, you can also buy um, files with your Apple Pay. So that's why I like Etsy. Um, there are ways around not buying files. So you can um, make a shirt using a file without purchasing it, but I will not be showing you that because you're not supposed to do that, so I will not show you that, but I do know how to do that, but I won't show you that. But uh, once you get good at doing this and making shirts, you'll figure it out and, you know. But for right now, we're gonna buy the Etsy SVG file. So let's get into the video. So first, what you wanna go to is your Etsy app and, um, Basically in Etsy, if you're gonna make a shirt, whatever you desire to make, put in the search engine and behind it put SVG. You can only make a shirt with the SVG file on Etsy. SVG is for your Cricut machine and the file will come to your um, email and you can save it to your Cricut design space and it will be layered. So I'm just showing you um, examples. So I did a Spider-Man SVG. This is Jesus SVG, and there are going to be all types of um, examples of shirts you can make from files. Um, you can do birthday SVG. Uh, so say, for instance, you're turning 46, put birthday 46 SVG. And these are all shirts that you can make for your 46th birthday. They are in files. And remember, guys, each color equals a layer. So today we're going to be making a shirt. Um, I already know what kind of shirt I'm gonna make, but I'm just gonna go ahead and search for it. So I typed in girl shirts for women, SVG. And again, it's gonna show all kinds of shirts that I can make. These are all files. You wanna make sure your file says SVG because not all the time 
uh, it will say SVG. So make sure that it says SVG before you actually um, purchase it. So I'm just scrolling down, viewing some of the shirts they have. Um, and they have, I mean, you can scroll for days. They have all kinds of shirts that you can choose from, all kinds of files. And again, I'm just scrolling, just viewing what they have. Um, but the shirt that I'm gonna actually make is this Phenomenal Woman That's Me shirt because it was cheap. It's only $1.25 and I can buy it with Apple Pay. So again, that's why I like to use my phone because it's easy. Once you purchase it, it'll say thanks for your order and it will send you an email. So here I am now in my email and you wanna click on View Files on Etsy. Once you click View Files on Etsy, you scroll down and click view downloads. So now you should be able to see your download. So they sent two files. Sometimes they'll send three or four, but here they sent two. So this one is a PNG. You see where it says PNG. So we're not gonna use that. It has to say SVG. So this one here, it says SVG. So we're gonna use this one. You wanna click more and click save to flat files and save it to your downloads on your phone. Now you wanna go over to files, you wanna to go to downloads, and you wanna find it. Sometimes they will send it in a zip file, this is not a zip file, so if they do send it on a zip file, all you have to do is click on it and it will take it out of the zip file. So this is what our um, file looks like. Now we can switch over to our Cricut Design Space app, so if you don't have the app on your phone, I suggest you get it. Once you open your Cricut Design Space app, of course, click new project. And then you want to go down and click Uploads. Then click Browse Files. And it's going to open up the files you have saved through your downloads on your phone. Then you want to find it. Once you find it, it should come up as a cut image as seen here. And then save it to whatever name you want to put. I put Phenomenal Woman. Just so whenever I need it again, it'll be easy to find. And it's just that simple. And it'll pop up on your canvas. Once it's up on your canvas, it's already saved into your Cricut Design Space, which will make it easier to find. Once you get on your actual Cricut Design Space on your computer, it will already be saved. Now that we're on our home computer or our laptop, Cricut Design Space, you wanna get a blank canvas or a new canvas, go over to Uploads, and it should be the last upload in your Cricut Design Space. So as you can see, it was the last uploads. Now on this particular file, uh, sometimes you will get files that come in layers already where you don't have to do any work to them. But this one, I just want you to look to the right. You see each letter is broken up into a layer, which will be so complicated if you decide to make this this way. So do not make it this way. You will have to do some work and get everything welded and grouped together so it will only be two layers, meaning a black mat and a pink mat because we have two colors here. So it should only be a black mat and a pink mat. But the way they have it, they have it layered separately. So each letter is a layer. So what we're gonna do is highlight the entire image and then we're gonna click ungroup. So once you click ungroup, now you can go through and weld. So now we're gonna highlight the entire word phenomenal and then we're gonna click weld. So weld, welding is just making it all one cut, so no letter is separated. So once you highlight Phenomenal and click Weld, now you can see that it has welded together and it's one cut. So then what we're gonna do in order to highlight woman and weld the word woman, we are gonna have to um, get rid of the that's me. So what we're gonna do is click the little eye on the right of each of the letters just to take it away for a while and then we're gonna go back and then we're gonna weld the entire word woman 
now that we welded woman we can go back over and unclick the that's me to bring it back to our canvas and as you can see now it's behind the word woman but what we're going to do is now we're going to get rid of the word woman for just a moment so that we can weld the that's me so click the eyeball click the eyeball on the left just to get rid of the word woman for temporarily purposes and then we're going to highlight phenomenal and that's me simply because it's the same color so we can get those all on the same mat all in one cut so once you've welded phenomenal and that's me you can now bring the woman back and now you can see to the right that it is now two layers so it's going to be two colors two mats two layers versus the 30 layers that we started out with so sometimes when you get an svg file you will have to do some work to it and sometimes you don't so now what i'm going to do is resize it to a 11.5 inch width and then a five inch height because i don't want the image um real big on our shirt i just want it to go across the chest area so again we're going to use a uh, 11.5 inch width and then a five inch height and once you resize it guys you don't have to use my size dimensions you can size it however you feel but once you've done resizing it you are done now you're ready to make it and see it looks nice but what I'm going to do is go over because um, I thought I had a white shirt, but I actually didn't. So now I'm going to have to use a black shirt. So I'm going to have to change the color of Phenomenal and the That's Me to the color white. So this is just an example of how it would look on a white t-shirt. But I'm going to go over and I'm going to change the shirt, um, the color of our shirt to the color black because that's all the color that I had left was a black. I had a black shirt and a navy blue shirt left and um, I got enough navy blue shirts so I went ahead and did the black shirt. So I changed the color of the shirt to black and you can do this simply at the top. Just go over the color and you can change the color of the shirt to any color you like. And then I had to change the phenomenal um, to white. So this is how our shirt would look. Now you can get rid of your classic t-shirt um, template and now you're ready to make your shirts. Always remember to make sure you mirror every mat when you're making a shirt. If you are ironing on anything or if you're using HTV, make sure that you mirror your images. Once you're done cutting, make sure you weed out your images and get ready to iron them on a shirt. Okay, y'all, so now for the fun part so y'all can see how my voice just got live. It's time to make this shirt. So you already know, if you watch any of my other videos, you already know I like to make my shirts down on the floor, on my poster, and on my mat. And I like to iron my shirts down the center. So you got to fold that shirt over down the center in half and iron that crease down the middle. Then you want to fold your images in half down the middle so that when you open up your shirt, if you line up the crease in your image and the crease in your shirt as seen here, you see how I got the creases lined up? Your image will be in the dead center of your shirt every time. This is a trick I've said before, it works. So if you're having trouble getting your images in the middle of your shirt or perfectly in the center, just iron a crease down the middle of your shirt and fold your image in half and line those creases up so what we're gonna do now is get our teflon sheet or you can use parchment paper i'm gonna use my teflon sheet right now and we're gonna press our woman down uh for about 15 seconds so we're gonna press it for about 15 seconds and then we're gonna peel it up and then we're gonna add our second layer so you want to give this a press for 15 seconds like i said and this is a warm peel so once you un once you pull up your press, it's gonna be extremely hot. So let the shirt wait or sit for a little while and then you'll be able to peel it up. So here it is, I peeled up the plastic um, and now it's time for us to lay down our phenomenal 
that's me our second layer so we have it laid here in perfect perfect position and now we're gonna lay our Teflon sheet down and then we're gonna press the phenomenal one the phenomenal and the woman and the that's me again for another 15 seconds um, just a reminder, I have my temperature at 350. Um, I leave it at 350 for all of my vinyls unless I'm doing like glitter or flock. So you will need to change the temperature. But just for simple HTV, it's always at 350 degrees. So again, we're just going to give this a press for 15 seconds. And then we're going to let it cool for a little bit and pull it up as a warm peel. So you see how I just pulled off so easy? Now, the shirt is done, but we're going to press it again for another 10 to 15 seconds. So, I might have went over 15 seconds, um, but just 10 to 15 seconds. That's all you're going to need is an additional 10 to 15 seconds, and your shirt will be ready to go. But one thing about these black shirts, as you can see in the video, it looks a little dingy and a little ashy. This is actually a new shirt. I don't know why the video picks up black like that, but it's not really that dull. So the shirt came out nice. As you can see, it's in the smack dead center in the middle every time. So if you're having trouble with that, use the little trick that I showed you. And we're done. The shirt is done, and it was fun, and it was just that simple. So, again, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all in the next video. And, again, the shirt turned out perfect. So, here's just a little fancy picture of it. So, again, bye, guys.